the Mapuche people, their culture is still pretty strong, but they live in like isolated little villages kind of far away from the city. And you know, one of the things that we would encounter a lot is there were lots of teachers down there in Hunin. And so lots of the teachers that we met were on a schedule different from the regular school schedule because they taught in the Mapuche school. And so they actually went in and built a school for the Mapuche children and they would go and teach them while maintaining their culture a little bit to get them educated and help them be able to you know, survive in society a little bit more. As far as Mapuche culture goes, I don't know a whole lot. They have a concept of God which is very close to nature. And so their idea of God is it's a four-part God where they have an adult male, an adult female, a child male, and a child female. And so it kind of encompasses all walks of life and you can associate yourself with, with the religion. I'm not too sure. Argentina in itself, it was populated by the Mapuche people up north of the Guarani, which is closer to Paraguay. And with the colonization of Argentina by, by the Spaniards and, and the Italians and Germans, which is what Buenos Aires is a lot of, and they started moving up to the mountains because they realized they could put ski resorts and do things like that. It was kind of a conflict between the Mapuche people and, and the colonization. And so I would say there's lots of intermixing. I mean, I never really met a pure Mapuche family. I was never really in one of the towns. But you have people with Mapuche descendancy. I met a couple of people that actually spoke Mapuche. In one of my wards, there was a woman who, who spoke Mapuche, and she was Mapuche. But you, you don't see it too, like, too much, other than the fact that members come from Mapuche descendancy. And so the Mapuche people, they live down south. Um, and it's a... It's a combined people. They're from Chile, southern Chile and southern Argentina, and they kind of just have the whole Patagonia. Argentina is a very political correct society, and so right now it's, it's a lot for fight for the rights of the Mapuche, maintain culture. Um, as far as things like that, I think the general struggles, and I did hear about this a few times, were you know, equal opportunity for Mapuche people, and that's in part why education is being put in place to help them out with that. But no, they, they're very peaceful people.